Hi friends, welcome. Today we're gonna to see the most secure way to access a VM in GCP using SSH. We're gonna create a VPC network, then a subnet where the image is gonna live, and then a firewall rule that is needed to access the um, VM using SSH. And we're gonna do all this without using a public IP. So normally to access a machine using SSH, you need at least three things, right? So you need some sort of credentials that may be a username and password or an SSH key. And then you need an IP to hit the machine. And then you also need a network connectivity between the local machine and the remote machine. Today we're gonna to see how we can do this without having a direct connectivity and without using credentials such as SSH keys uh, directly. And we're gonna do this through a mechanism that is in uh, Google Cloud is called IAP, Identity Aware Proxy. And we're gonna create a tunnel through the Google API and we're gonna access the machine using this tunnel. So without further ado, let's see how we can do this. We need a command to create the VPC. So in this way, we create a VPC that is pretty standard. And now this command will create a VPC. Immediately after this, we're gonna create a subnet. This is the command to create the subnet. We have a region which is Europe West one. Uh, the subnet is called EU West one and the range is 10, 10, 24. Now, the only thing we need to do is create a firewall rule. Uh, the firewall rule we want to create is supposed to allow access only to the Google API. The Google API has a well-known IP range, as you can see is in the source range. And this allows access only to the specified IPs that come from the Google APIs. So now this one is creating the firewall rule. Cool. So now that we have all these network resources created, let's have a look at them from the Google Cloud Console. So from the menu, we go in VPC network. And from here, we should be able to see a VPC. And inside, we have our subnet. And then the IP range is 10.10.10 10, 10 slash 24. Also the firewall rules, we have our VPC allow SSH firewall rule and we have our IP ranges specified here. The only thing to do now is create the VM and try to SSH into it. So the command to create the VM is this one. And we are creating a VM that is a very small instance, it is an E2 micro, and we are using a spot instance to save money. And uh, the important thing to notice here is that the VM will live in EU West 1 and is gonna have no public IP. So no address means that no public IP will be assigned to this VM. This is now creating the VM. So now we can go and inspect the VM in the cloud console. So from here, we go under compute engine and we should see our instances up and running. So as you can see, there is no external IP. We only have an internal IP. Now we go back to the terminal and we try to SSH into it. The command we're using to SSH is hitting the instance and then is doing with this flag through IAP, which is the way to create the tunnel via the Google API. As you can see, it's pretty fast. So now we can inspect the IP and we can see that we only have localhost and the local network IP. So to recap what we have done, we have created a VPC, a subnet, a firewall rule, the firewall rule only allows the IP range that is the um, well-known uh, range from uh, Google Cloud to access the VM through IAP. Then we created an instance on that subnet and we tried the SSH command with the flag tunnel through IAP and that's it. So we managed to connect without having any public IP exposed. Hope you liked this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you're interested, there is there are more videos on GCP. For example, there is this one about the risk of service account and how to mitigate them. And until the next video, see you and uh, have a nice day. Bye.